The Supreme Election Board, YSK, opened up voting stations on Friday, enabling Turkish expatriates to cast their votes in the general election at customs facilities in various airports, border gates, ports and at Turkish missions abroad. The voting stations will be open to registered voters from May 8 at 8 a.m. to June 7 at 6 p.m. Voting centers, excluding those at Turkish missions, will be open 24 hours, including public holidays. If more votes than expected are cast in a particular area, more voting centers will be set up accordingly. Expatriate citizens can vote at Turkish missions during regular office hours. These voting centers are overseen by the YSK, which determined where voting would be allowed and under which conditions votes could be cast. For the first time in a general election, Turkish citizens will be able to vote at Turkish missions abroad, in an arrangement the YSK made after the 2011 general elections. The customs gates prepared for expatriate voting are as follows, Sarp and Artvin, Kapkil, Pazarkil, Salah and Hamzabali in Adirna, Diluku in Idra and Dirikoy in Kriklerli. At customs gates and airports, citizens can vote at Adana Sakirpaza, Ankara Esenboa, Antalya, Eskisahir, Gaziantep Sajn, Hatay, Stanbul Atatürk, Sabi Hagakan, in Stanbul, Zemir Adnan Menderes, Kayseri Erkilat, Dalaman, Milispadrum, Samsun Karsamba, Trabzon, Ilaz, Konya and Zonguldak. At ports, votes can be cast at Quadas Aden, Sesma in Zemir, Evalk in Bakizir, Dirans in Kosaeli, Akhtnaz in Mersin, Tajiko in Salifka Mersin, Marmaris and Badrum ports in Mala and Vulkadm in Samsun. The Haber Custom Gate near the Silo P district of Vrnik province, used by thousands of Turkish citizens who work in northern Iraq, was notably not listed among the custom gates where Turkish citizens may cast their votes though it was used as a voting station during the presidential elections last year. Silo P District Election Board head Abdul Kader Esavit told Turkish media that the decision not to have ballot boxes at the Haber border gate was made by the YSK, forcing many of these citizens to cast their votes at Turkish consulates in Iraq. Calling the YSK's decision discriminatory, People's Democratic Party, HDP, Renuk Deputy Hasip Kaplan stated, instructed by the AK party government, which is aware that votes for the HDP are high at border gates, the YSK has decided to no longer allow voting at the Haber border gate. Meanwhile, Turkish citizens living in Europe reached the Kapkil border gate in Adirna in the early hours of Friday to cast their votes. Omer Akar who was on vacation in Turkey, said he had planned his holiday for this time in order to cast his vote before returning to Germany. Another Turkish expatriate, Balir Bulgu, 65, expressed happiness at fulfilling his civic duty and wishes the best for Turkey.